Good evening, Internet. Before you ask, do I have a kitten on me? Or cat, because there's one right here. Today is April 9th. I've had to look it up. I've double-checked it. I've triple-checked it. It is, in fact, April 9th. This is the ninth day of Vlog Every Day in April. I have Isun with me today, as usual. Well, 50-50. This is actually my fifth recording of this now. Let's see, the first recording, I forgot what the topic was going to be. The second recording, I did a beautiful job, and it turns out I ran out of memory card space on my phone, so it abruptly stopped and started desynchronizing sound and video because it was probably fragmented storage toward the end, and yeah. So I have about five gig of space free on my phone now. I should be fine. Today I'm going to talk about computing, mostly because, well, that's what I do, and I did mention this was going to be a topic. There was a recommendation through comments that I should talk about how to install Linux. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to wait until I have my tripod. My tripod should be arriving tomorrow. It's theoretically possible I might do one tomorrow afternoon with the tripod. I'm not going to guarantee that. I'm probably going to end up doing it tomorrow morning before I have the tripod. So, and given that Thursday and Friday are very busy for me, that means Saturday is probably the earliest date where that may happen. Still don't know if I'm going to do that. Computers. I am a Windows Server Administrator. That's my actual job. It's what I do for most of my waking hours. I administer servers, specifically Windows servers. I am a, I guess you would say, an expert with Citrix. I'm an expert with Microsoft Hyper-V. That's what I do. So the last thing most people think of when they think of people that work on one type of device all day long is to come home and use very similar devices at home all day. Yeah, I'm not most people. I don't think most of us admins are either. I use computers. I have a lot of computers in this house. Uh, let's see, I have five on this table right now. There is two more in the living room. No, there's five more in the living room. Then there's two in the basement. Am I forgetting any? Three in the basement. Lots of computers. However, a computer does not equate to a PC. Chances are, even you have multiple computers. Yeah, you. Well, not you. You. Yes, you. Most people in modern European or American societies that actually have more than one computer, they just don't typically think of them as computers. Do you have a cell phone? It's a computer. Yes, even the non-smartphone. The dumb phone that can store your contacts and browse something that they call the internet but looks like a postage stamp. Yeah, that's actually a computer. It may not be a very powerful computer. It's not a computer like you would realize it, but it's still a computer. That's one of the great things about this current generation of computers is that their purposes are starting to converge. I mean, Android phones, seriously, they run Linux. I'm not joking. They really do. However, I'm pretty sure you're wanting to talk more about PCs, or at least PC-like things. I assume you're not allowed on the table. So today I'm going to quickly go over my computers, how I use them. Yeah, that's about it. So. Not counting the phone that you're connected to. The phone that you're connected to is my Galaxy Nexus, by the way. It's a lovely phone. It's the real Galaxy Nexus, not the Verizon version that doesn't really get updates or any benefit from it being a Google phone. Um, I have the version that works on AT&T and T-Mobile. The phone... Okay, I see. The phone itself is currently plugged into one of my laptops for power purposes. This laptop right here, and you can even see the USB cord dangling out. This laptop here is Isri. Isri is a Lenovo ThinkPad T400. Um, it's four and a half generations out of date now. So I bought her, that would have been December of 2008. I had just started working at my current employer and I needed a laptop that was not the crap top. The crap top being my prior laptop We'll just phrase it as it was appropriately named and leave it at that. Um, my ThinkPad's a 14-inch screen. It's a little too large for me. My preference on computing devices tend to be smaller, as you're about to see. 
So next smaller one down, this is Yanthia. Yanthia is my convertible tablet. This is a Windows machine. It's also four and a half generations out of date. In fact, this is actually slower than my previous one, even though it's newer. This is a Windows machine. It has a rotatable screen, so I can use it as a tablet. Uh, the screen itself is both a touch screen and a stylus-based screen. I almost dropped my laptop. That would have been terrible. See, stylus. I should mention that both of my laptops that I actively use have SSDs in them. If you are unaware, an SSD or a solid state drive is basically, I apologize for the shaking, I'm nervous apparently, a solid state drive is a drive that does not have any moving parts on the inside. Bless you. No moving parts on the inside less likely to fail in portable situations. This is incredibly important, even not counting the fact that they're ridiculously fast by comparison to hard drives. If you have a laptop, you should probably have an SSD. I don't care who you are, unless if that laptop is chained to the desk, not moving now, ever, just basically being used as a portable desktop, and even then there's lots of arguments for an SSD. Otherwise, you should have one. No more hard drive failures from, oops, I dropped my laptop. No more, oh no, I'm draining my battery really fast because I'm doing a whole bunch of hard drive activity. SSDs typically use up less power. They're awesome. Uh, I can probably do a whole episode on SSDs. I won't. This is not a laptop. This is a desktop. This desktop is a very small one. This is the first, um, the form factor for this desktop is called Mini ITX. Nano ITX? Micro ITX? Mini ITX, yeah, this one's Mini ITX. A Mini ITX machine is a full desktop that's much, much smaller than normal. Typically it doesn't have as many parts or may have reduced functionality or reduced speed. This one, um, they're typically called net tops when they're small. This net top is a very slow processor machine, but it is a full desktop. Hopefully you can see this because I can't tell um, processors under here, video adapters under here, um, they're not exactly fast. This is a dual core Atom processor for those that don't know what Atoms are, don't get one. It's a specific purpose machine. I apologize for lots of dust. I have dust problems in this house. Here is the um, video adapter as I mentioned. Stick of RAM is right here. I actually don't have a second slot unlike most desktops. Um, the power supply is not present. I have an external power supply for this desktop. You've probably seen ex external desktop, or you have likely seen external power supplies before. They're used in laptops. This has one also. Standard ports on the back, audio, USB, the thing sticking out, it's a Bluetooth adapter. Um, video, nothing super special. Hard drive is up here. This is an actual hard drive, mostly because I'm out of SSDs to put into devices. The previous version of this machine had an SSD, but that SSD was, we'll call it a bargain basement special back during the beginning years of SSDs where they weren't all that resilient. It didn't survive my mother's use. Really nothing of this survived my mother's use. This isn't the same motherboard. This isn't the same processor. This isn't even the same stick of RAM. There's very little left from when my mother was using this. I use this machine as a general purpose, quick Linux machine for I want to... Hey, soon? Hush. Hush, kitty. And off. Off the counter. Off. Thank you. I use this for quick processing. Um, not quick as in speedy. Quick as in I need to do something really fast. And also, this is what handles my email. I'm probably going to migrate off of it and use this machine for other purposes, but, well, it's there. I should mention names of my computers. This is Isri. This is Yanthia. This is Rurith. All three of these are characters in my role-playing universe. They're NPCs. Um, Isri is a... we'll refer to as an agent. Um, Yanthia is a secretary, and Rurith is a leader of a country. Don't ask. There are actual reasons for this, but I'm not here to talk about role-playing system. This is a bunch of Legos. It's also the case for my last computer that I'm showing today. This, after I had to put this back together and take it apart and put it back together, too many takes of this. This is a Raspberry Pi. 
Um, for those of you that are unaware, the Raspberry Pi program is a program that's designed to make very small computers that are meant for teaching others, um, typically teaching others programming, and being able to use hardware outputs, and all those things that the education system probably should be doing. There is a computer in here, believe it or not. I'm just taking apart some of the Lego case so I can actually get at anything useful whatsoever. I apologize for how long this episode is. Believe it or not, this is the shorter take. I hope all of it's still here. This is actually the Raspberry Pi. This is the smallest computing device that I own. Well, mostly smallest computing device. This does not have a standard processor. This is not a PC. This is, has more in common with your smartphone than this would have with one of these three machines in front of me. However, it's pretty handy. It's not exactly a speed demon. This is, well, we'll just call this about 10 generations out of date if you're comparing this to a standard Windows PC for everything except for video performance. Uh, it has important things, USB ports, Ethernet, composite video output. Um, you'd probably find those on older consoles, for instance, TVs still have them. Headphone jack. HDMI output, SD card, so this does technically have a solid state device, there's no moving parts in this SD card, really can't. There's also a couple of features of this, there's pin outs, this is used for hardware computing, um, if you wanted to control like a little scooter with it or things like that, you can design a program to do that. This thing is awesome, by the way. I'm probably going to start migrating more and more things, more and more aspects of my surface to this little device because it's here and it's awesome and handy and stuff. Oh, I did not mention. There's this tiny itty bitty little thing here. You can sort of see it. Yeah, that's the power. It's powered off of USB. It's awesome. So, I believe that's about it for my computing special, so to speak. If you have any questions about what I've said, Leave it in comments wherever I happen to post this. I can answer them pretty easily. Um, if you have any suggestions for a later topic, please give them. I love hearing the suggestions. I even take several of them. That is all for today. and I can totally rebuild this back the way it was. See? Now it's a bunch of Legos again. Enjoy! Enjoy.